Hi friends, welcome back to online chalkboard. We are going to do chapter number 2, circles. We are going to start the section of circles and quadrilaterals. We are going to do exercise question number 1. In this class, we are going to do remaining questions. If you like this video, like it, share it, subscribe to our channel. Question number 2. Prove that the area of the area of the area any outer angle of a cyclic quadrilateral is equal to the inner angle at the opposite vertex. Well, let's ask a question. What is the question? We have a cyclic quadrilateral. What is the cyclic quadrilateral? It is a quadrilateral whose all four vertices lie on a circle. If we have a cyclic quadrilateral, we have to prove that the any outer angle of this cyclic quadrilateral is equal to the inner angle at the opposite vertex. That is for example, if we have a figure here, we will see here. Okay, now we have PQRS, we have a cyclic quadrilateral. P cyclic quadrilateral, we have an outer angle. What is the outer angle? That is the side of the side, we have to extend it. If we extend it, we have an outer angle for the angle. If I extend this, I am writing a point T here. Then, this angle RQT is our outer angle. So, what do we need to prove here? This outer angle is equal to the inner angle at the opposite vertex. That is, this Q is our opposite vertex. So, this is S. Then, this is the inner angle here. This outer angle must be of equal measure. अब इधर आना हमारे prove ये एंड था। ओके अपन नमक ऐंगने prove ये हम बेटम। Angle RQT is equal to angle PSR. This is what we are supposed to prove. ओके अपन नमक कारी ना video ऐले नमक अंडर नो ऐंगने आना और एक cyclic quadrilateral इंदे opposite angles supplementary आवने नमक ले पढ़ी चु। now, we will continue with that idea. Now, we will continue with the cyclic quadrilateral. What are the two angles of the cyclic quadrilateral? One angle is S and the other angle is Q. Now, we will continue with the opposite angle. So, we can say that angle S is equal to angle P. Angle P 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 is equal to 180 degrees. Okay, we will write the first equation. P and angles in the sum of 180. We can see where we can see the angles in the sum of 180. Yes, we can see that angle PQR and angle RQT are in a straight line. So, we know that the angles will be supplementary. So, we can write angle RQT plus angle PQR is also 180 degree. Right. Now, let's take two equations. In two equations, one angle is common. Angle PQR. Now, angle PQR is equal to angle PSR add to 180. Angle RQT add to 180. Which means, these two angles must be exactly the same. So, we can say that angle RQT is equal to angle PQR. PSR or we can say that this outer angle is equal to the inner angle at the opposite vertex. Okay, so this completes the proof of question number 2. So, question number 2 is all over the comments. Now, we will use this idea to use question number 3. Question number 3. Prove that a parallel graph is equal to a rectangle. Prove that a parallel graph which is not a rectangle is not cyclic. Okay, we will use this question to ask the question. We will use the meaning of the words in the words. Okay, that is parallel graph. Parallel graph is not a rectangle. Parallel graph is not a rectangle. It is a quadrilateral in which the opposite pair of sides are parallel. Opposite pair of sides are parallel, 
they are also equal. Okay, this is a parallelogram in the important and the properties. They have a property the opposite angles of a parallelogram are equal. Okay, so these properties are a parallelogram. So, what is the question? Prove that a parallelogram which is not a rectangle is not cyclic. Now, we have a parallelogram. That parallelogram is a rectangle. That is a cyclic car. We have a rectangle is a cyclic quadrilateral. Okay, now we have to prove that rectangle is a parallelogram. Cyclic Kavilana. Okay. Now, we proof Okay, so let ABCD be a parallelogram which is not a rectangle. Okay, rectangle is a parallelogram on ABCD. Rectangle is not a rectangle. Angles will not be equal to 90 degrees. Okay, so we are taking such a parallelogram. Now, we will prove that this parallelogram is cyclic. Okay, so we will just assume that. A, B, C, D is cyclic. What is the Okay, so if A, B, C, D is cyclic, cyclic angle and the conditions are the opposite angles are supplementary. So we can say angle A plus angle C will be 180 degree. Similarly, angle B plus angle D is 180 degree. Right, now so, this idea is one. Now, one parallelogram angle. That is the opposite angles in the relation. We just mentioned it. Opposite angles are equal. So we can say angle A is equal to angle C. That is angle B is equal to angle D. Okay, so these are equal lateral values. These are equal lateral values. So, how do we rewrite the equation? Twice angle A is equal to 180 degree. Similarly, twice angle B is equal to 180 degree. Now, we will see angle A is 90 degree. Aana. Angle B is 90 degree. Now, we will see that ABCD is a cyclic quadrilateral. Angle A and angle B. Now, the remaining angles are 90 degree. Now, we will see that ABCD is a rectangle. Now, we will see that rectangle is a parallelogram. Aana. So that means ABCD or cyclic avan patilla. So we can see that for any parallelogram which is not a rectangle, it will not be cyclic. Okay, so we have to prove it. Then we have to ask question number 4. Question number 4 Prove that any non isosceles trapezium is not cyclic. Now we have to ask that. Cyclic Allah is a question. Now, what do we do here? Non-isosceles trapezium is a cyclic Allah. Okay, so firstly, let us consider ABCD which is a non-isosceles trapezium. So, if we prove it, we will have a non-isosceles trapezium. So, let ABCD be a non-isosceles trapezium. So, non-isosceles trapezium is a non-isosceles trapezium. Non-parallel sides equal avilla. That is in this case AD will not be equal to BC. Okay, so we have to say isosceles trapezium is property of this base of these two angles equal. So, if this is non-isosceles trapezium, we can say that angle A will not be equal to angle B. Okay, so here is non-isosceles trapezium. Cyclic ano alleo na naman engine check kaya enda da. If the opposite angles are supplementary or not. From opposite angles in the sum 180 ano engil, we can say that it is cyclic. And if it is not 180, we can say that it is non-cyclic. So naman kaya bade opposite ay talaga randa angles na noka. So angle B yung angle D. So we will see angle B plus angle D enda ano na naman kaya noka. Noka mo na. Okay. Now, angle A plus angle D is 
नमकारियाँ इधर एक ट्रपीसियम आने लो। तो ट्रपीसियम आने के लिए AB is parallel to DC। तो two lines are parallel and taking AD as the transversal, we can see that A angle A and angle D are co-interior angles। तो co-interior angles आने के लिए sum of these co-interior angles will be 180 degree। Okay, so we can say that angle A plus angle D is equal to 180 degree. Okay, so what do we say? We have already said that angle B and angle A are equal. So, angle A plus angle D is 180. Angle B plus angle D is 180. It will not be possible. Because equal is 180. So, angle D is equal to angle A. We will add angle A to the angle. Therefore, it cannot be 180 degree. So, angle B plus angle D will not be equal to 180 degree. So, what do we do now? Opposite angles of this quadrilateral are not supplementary. Therefore, we can say that this quadrilateral ABCD is not cyclic. Okay. Thus, we showed that a non-isosceles trapezium will not be cyclic. So, I hope this question is clear for you all. If you have any doubt, you can ask a question. Proof and then, we have one step and then, we have one figure and then, we have one of the equations and then, we have one step by step and then, we have one of the proof. So, one of the things you can do is you can do. Next, we move to question number 5. In the picture, bisectors of adjacent angles of the quadrilateral A, B, C, D intersect at P, Q, R and S. Prove that P, Q, R, S is a cyclic quadrilateral. Now, this question, you can see the figure on the figure. We can see the figure on the figure. It's very complicated. But, this is the question. What do you say? A, B, C, D is a quadrilateral. Now, what do you say? A, B, C, D is a quadrilateral. It is a quadrilateral. It is a quadrilateral. It is a quadrilateral. It is a quadrilateral. So, what do you say? 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 Bisectors of adjacent angles of the quadrilateral A, B, C, D. That is, we have to look at this A and this line. That is, we have to look at the B and C and D and D. Those four lines are angle bisectors. What is angle bisectors? What angle is that region? That angle is equal to the line of angle bisectors. Okay. What do you think? Now, here is the full angle. That angle is two equal angles are cut in the line and we have to cut similarly B and C and D okay so now I am going to name this A and this X so now I am going to name this other angle will also be X so that is the angle bisector so now we have to name all names so angle B and this angle will name Y so that is the angle will also be Y similarly in C, I will name this angle as Z. So, the other angle will also be Z. That is why we have a D angle. So, I am calling this angle as W. So, this angle will also be W. Now, we have clear the angle bisector. Now, what do we have to prove? We have to prove that PQRS is a cyclic quadrilateral. Now, PQRS is clear. We have to get four angle bisectors. They have to intersect the point P, Q, R and S. Now, P, Q, R and S join us. We have to get a quadrilateral. Right. So, we need to show that this particular quadrilateral. That is cyclic. Okay. So, P, Q, R is a cyclic quadrilateral. We have to prove it. What do we prove it? Opposite angles supplementary on the Ghana Chamadi. Okay, people are not going to be Ghana Chamadi. Angle P plus angle R equal to 180 degree in the Ghana Chamadi. Okay, but we are not going to be Ghana Chamadi. Now, people are going to be angle P and angle R. This angle. Okay. Now, these are the angles that are going to be the same. These angles are going to be the same. Let's consider the two triangles. 
If you look at this figure, P is an angle and a triangle. Yes, we have triangle A, sorry, A, R, B, where R is an angle. Okay, P angle is an angle, where is a triangle? That is triangle C, P, D. That is, we have A, B line, C, D line, base side, we have two triangles. Where angle P and angle R are there. So, let us consider triangle A, R, B. And triangle CPD. Now, we have two triangles. Angle R name, angle P name, we have value. So, in triangle ARB, we have two angles already. We have angle X and angle Y. Now, we have the third angle. That is angle ARB. And we have R. So, angle R it will be equal to 180 degree. Minus x minus y. Right? 180 degree minus x minus y. Similarly, from triangle CPD, we have two angles, one is ZM, one is W. So that means the third angle. Angle P will be 180 minus Z minus W. Okay, but we have angle P and angle R. So, we will sum 180 and add it. So, we will add it. So, angle P is 180 minus Z minus W plus 180 minus X minus Y. Okay, we will substitute these equations. So, this will be equal to. We will add it. 180 and 180 add it. We will get 360. Minus, I have no terms in the back of the x, y, z, w. They are all minus and common. Okay, so minus, we will get z plus w plus x plus y. Okay, we will get z plus w plus x plus y. Okay, so angle P plus angle R is 360 degree minus z plus w plus x plus y. So, we will get z plus w plus x plus y. We will get z plus w plus x plus y. So, this figure is not okay. Z, W, X, Y. These terms are okay. Okay, what is the relation between them? So, we will see that the quadrilateral ABC is 4 angles. X, Y, Z. We will see that the quadrilateral ABC is 4 angles. We will see that the quadrilateral ABC is 4 angles. Now, we will see that the quadrilateral ABC is 4 angles. So, angle A plus angle B plus Angle C plus angle D. This sum in the value at 3. We know this is a quadrilateral. A quadrilateral the sum of inner angles now are in the 360 degree. So this implies angle A in the varna namak eadam. X plus X a layer. So it is 2X. Similarly, angle B is 2Y. Angle C is 2Z. And angle D is 2W. So this much is equal to 360 degree. We will simplify it. 4 terms here, we have 2 common items. So, 2 into x plus y plus z plus w, bracket it down, this is equal to 360 degree. If we simplify it, we have to do what we do. x plus y plus z plus w is equal to 360 divided by 2, which is 180 degree. Well, let's see, we have to do what we do. x plus y plus z plus w is 180 degree. We have we had reached angle P plus angle R is 360 degree minus Z plus W plus X plus Y. This sum we have to the last time. That is the same. Alle. Just the terms are not same. But both are exactly the same. Now, we have to substitute this sum. Here. So, we have to substitute angle P plus angle R is equal to 360 degree minus, this sum is minus 180 degree. So, that is equal to 180 degree. So, we just showed that angle P plus angle R is equal to 180 degree. That is, PQR is in the opposite angles are supplementary. Therefore, PQR is cyclic or we can say it is a cyclic quadrilateral.
ओके अब निंगले इड दोंबा आंसर इड दोंबा इंगेना रीज़न गोड़े इड दा ऑपोसिट एंगल्स आर सप्लीमेंट्री ओके सो दिस विल गिव अस द कंप्लीट प्रूफ ओके सो क्वेश्चन नंबर फाइव इच्छिरे लेंथी आनु प्रूफ पश्चिम निंगले फिगर ओन्द मंसल आके नमक इत पेट्टन इड दा वन्दे ओल्लो सो एल्ला अवरे मी क्वेश्चन ओन्नो � Pelajar video untuk anda itu nukah, mana pelikiya, nih kita petang ini friends saya itu share aja, video like aja, so nama kita adat tak kelas lalu, ini exercise anda, baki questions anda continue aja, okay, thank you.